Um, and it was quite good. In 2009, my parents came over to visit us in, in London and, and, you know, Aaron made an incredible um, impression on them. And, and my mum, who has a habit of, um, you know, giving back postcards to me of what I've written to her, um, her, her nana does that to her. And, and my mum gave me a postcard that she'd sent to her nana and said, and at the end of it said, Erin is lovely, I think she is the one. So even my mum could see that. Uh, my dad was more eloquent in what he said about her. <laughs> saying in uh, a quiet moment when the girls were shopping, he said, if you fuck this up, we won't forgive you. <laughs> Aaron and Mark met in April 2008. There were dates and flirting for more than a few months. Then in November 2008, things became official. The relationship was still fresh and over Christmas and New Year's, Mark headed to Ski Fest in France and Erin headed to Switzerland. Erin and I shared a room and spent many late nights talking about would Mark call her for Christmas? <laughs> Should Aaron call him? How keen on he on how keen on Aaron was he? And what should Aaron do if he doesn't call? <laughs> Talk about girls overanalyzing. Thank God Mark called on Christmas Day and, and Aaron was smitten. Although we've known Mark only now for a few years, both Bal and I think he is very, he's everything that one could ask for in a son-in-law. Mind you, I knew we'd get on when he asked Bal and I for Erin's hand in marriage. You know, it was nice of him to come and ask us. You don't have to do that, but I think it's a, a true quality in a man to do that. Aaron, I promise to love you and to honour you, to treasure and to respect you, to walk with you by my side in joy and sorrow. I promise as your husband to hold you in my arms, to laugh with you, to cry with you, to be with you and to love you with all that I am and all that I shall become. This I promise with all my heart forever. Um, Aaron, you are my soulmate and the love of my life. Um, I'm a very fortunate man and I would just like to take this opportunity to say how much I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you. I hope that every day will be as happy as today. Um, so all that remains is to say thank you to all of you again for coming, um, especially to the person who's travelled so far. Um, it's not VB, but it's my new wife who's been on a for your journey with me and is still right there by my side. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a, in a toast to my stunning bride, Erin. <laughs>